In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to make a sequence. Link your media to your project. Create a current cut spin and a previous cut spin. Once you've done that, in your current cut spin, right click, select New Sequence, entitle your sequence. In our timeline window, you can see that our sequence has been titled, and it also tells you the frame rate. Go over to your footage. My first footage I'm going to use. Mark an endpoint on the clip for the first frame you want in your timeline. Press I for endpoint. Mark an out point for the last frame of your clip. Press O for the out point. Once you have your in and out points, you can press V to put that clip into the timeline. Now you see that in our record monitor, it plays back what we have placed into our timeline. If you would like to add another clip, just click end on your keyboard. It'll bring the blue bar all the way to the end. Select your next clip. Mark your in and out points. And press V again. You'll see that we'll have both of our clips in our timeline. And if we press the space bar, it'll play our first clip. And then it'll play our second clip. If you would like to mark a clip, just press T on the keyboard. It places your in and your out points on this specific clip. If you wish to get rid of both your in and out points, you can press G on the keyboard. As you can see, they're both gone. Another way to get rid of your in and out points, if you want to just get rid of the in point, you can press D on the keyboard. And if you wish to get rid of your out point, you can press F on the keyboard. If you are bringing in a clip and you wish to mark this clip, you can press here, mark clip, and it places your in and your out points. If you wish to get rid of your in and your out points, you can press G on the keyboard or press clear both marks here. There are also these shortcuts in your timeline window. If you don't wish to use the keyboard shortcuts, you can come here to mark your clip, and then here to clear both marks, and then here you have your mark in for your endpoint, and here you have your mark out for your outpoint.